you asked me this question the first at the first moment of us talking today. Was there a moment? I actually remember um, the actual moment that um, yeah, I don't want to get too deep into it, but the actual moment when um, there was my father had cancer, so the the my I think my grandmother got a phone call and she came into the bedroom. I was laying on her bed in New Jersey and, and she had told me. And I remember a, a actual moment where I got up at a, I think I laid in the bed for 10 minutes and then I got up and I walked downstairs into her basement, which was like old school, like cellar. And there were weights down there. And I just started lifting weights. And I, I, I literally never looked back. I just went straight forward on this mission. And, and it, there was that actual moment. And I don't think I thought anything like I'm going to go do something. I just knew at that moment I was on my own. Yeah. I hear you. That's what it literally was. And I was, I was on my own. That was the rest of my life. I, I had to figure everything out and I was on my own. Yep. The way it was. You, you had it even four years younger than me. I mean, there's a huge difference between a 16 year old and a 12 year old. I could at least work at that time, you know, to where I could earn my own, my own living. And I did, I would eat. That's when I started going grocery shopping for myself too, because when you're talking $7 an hour from your mom, you know, I would go out and I would buy healthier groceries. I, I would buy better meals, you know, rather than just frozen pizzas and Mac and cheese, you know, cause that's about all that you would buy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it was cheaper hot dogs or, or whatever Maybe else. You know? yeah. yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I'd buy, you know, I'd buy meat and peppers and I'd chop them up. And this is where I learned how to cook too. I'm a really freaking good cook, but I taught myself just out of the drive in me to not have the status quo because of that, because the status quo surrounding me was the frozen pizzas or the McDonald's or wh whatever else it was, all the crap food. And that's where I'm like, you know what? I think I, I want better food, even though it was ironic because I was working at a McDonald's at the time and I was a <laughs> McDonald's manager. So I could have the double cheeseburgers or whatever, whenever I wanted to. But as soon as I got home, it was like a different environment. It's like that was home and I didn't want the same crap there that everybody else was having. So I'd stop at the grocery store all the time and buy my own groceries and then go home. And from that point on too, same thing, like with the shoes. Because it, you had the $5 shoes from Marshalls, I had the pro wings from Payless and getting made fun of at school because I wasn't the kid with the Nikes or anything or the Reebok at that time yeah. too. You yeah. Know, that, that's yeah, just how yeah, that's the pumps. You remember the pumps? <laughs> I, I do remember <laughs> that. A, yep. And with so, the muscle, with the muscle pants, we, with, with the, uh, with the wigwam socks. Yeah. I don't know. That's, that's what Jersey was in the late eighties. Yeah, we didn't have that in Chicago, buddy. But I mean, that sounds that sounds interesting. <laughs> that's, not. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> it's, it's like, whatever happens in LA happens in New York, right? So I lived a half yep. hour outside New York City. It was interesting. There you time. go. 